Baker. I'm chair of the Ambassador Group for the Greater Rio Rancho Chamber. And I'm here today speaking to Amanda Davis, and she is from Business Dis Business Solutions by Design. Hi, Amanda. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing awesome on a beautiful Monday morning. I don't mind the clouds. A little cool, but I'm digging it. So what we're doing here at the Ambassador Chat is to get to know you a little bit. So tell me about your business. All right, well, we might um, be boring, but we are essential in, in the COVID land. So we do no bookkeeping services. Um, oh, okay. And, and bookkeeping is 100% virtual. So when I started the business back in 2014, I wanted um, some flexibility after uh, working tax season for many years and 70 hours a week. I was like, okay, let's <laughs> find some balance in my life. So the, so the whole bookkeeping, everything is virtual. We have uh, bookkeeping team members all over the country and some here locally so it's it's kind of been a fun venture and it's been really exciting learning about everybody's businesses and what they do so it, it's been a fun adventure and you do know what their business is and i'll give you a little bit of my background uh i have a degree in accounting i actually sat for the exam did a year and public hated it got fired i said thank you <laughs> and eventually i worked for safeguard as a customer service person but really i'm on payroll and I was the sales manager for Paychex in New York and LA. As I said, when we started this conversation, you and I kind of find some synergy here. So this is going to be fun. Right. So tell me, as a bookkeeping service, and I've worked with many of them, what's unique about how you approach it for small business? Uh, well, it's kind of interesting. We, we really have a passion for our small business clients. Um, and something that's unique, uh, specifically about my background, which is how we, we kind of work with our clientele. Um, I have a graphics art degree and a bachelor's in uh, accounting. So I kind of have both sides going for me. So I tend to work really, really well with the creative business owners. So uh, going into this year, we're, we're really kind of uh, focusing on service-based creative businesses that are kind of smaller so that we can build them up, get them the right tools, get them the right education. We're really passionate about uh, making sure that when people work with us, they are being successful, they are meeting their goals that they want, and they are happier that they work with us, they can sleep better at night. So that's really what we do. We're really passionate about um, making uh, the team work with, with our clients something that's truly special and client focused. And as a numbers person who then had to learn how to do promotional products and apparel and logo design and all that stuff, I envy the fact that you can you are able to play on that other side of your brain. Uh, it's a lot more work for me. So, but we're, I've gotten good at it and I have a team that's even better at it, but I know exactly what you're saying and small business people need both the numbers and the vision. And that's what you bring to the table based on what you're telling me. Exactly. And it's it's been really fun, you know, at the start of everything that happened back in March of this year, the first thing I did was um, outside of have my mini panic attack. The next day I decided, <laughs> what can I do to help our clients? Because some of them are wedding photographers. And with wow. the shutdowns, that was really, uh, I was scared of them. How do you survive? Exactly. Yeah, so um, I initiated a plan where my clients, my existing clients could take an hour of my time for free and we would just brainstorm how they could continue to make money while uh, following the rules and the regulations. So that was kind of an interesting uh, uh, sidestep we took and that was a really fun opportunity for me to help uh, be more, add more value to our clients and kind of see where their headspace was at and, and really help them accelerate and, and stay in business during this time. So that was, that was really fun. Based on what you're telling me, the uniqueness of doing that as a bookkeeping service and to donate your time to a small business, your client base is amazing because most would have never done that. They would have just said, how do I you know, increase my revenue? And now I can't sidestep that and actually back up a little bit. So I'm very proud of the fact that you did that for the small business community. Here. Can you tell me a little bit why you um, joined the Chamber? Oh yeah, when I first started out, I didn't know what I was doing. So that's 
you know, step one. <laughs> I knew how to do, you know, books and I knew how to do taxes and some about graphics, but uh, running a business is a whole different beast. And so I knew I needed a support group and I've got a great family and, and friend support group, but you know, you need more than just, oh, you're gonna be great. You'll be fine. You really need um, actual people who can give you real life solutions. And, and uh, the chamber is really designed to really be helpful, not only to small businesses, but to businesses of all sides and to really impact the community. Um, so I knew that that would be a really great resource. And because uh, in proximity, the Rio Rancho Chamber is the closest one to me. It's the first one I joined. And frankly, it's the only one I've stayed in with this entire time. Well, I think I've gotten to know a little bit about you and, and your passion and the fact that you really want to do what's right for your clients. And um, that is coming out um, pretty. I'm happy to hear that about what you've done. So again, uh, I'm very excited about you being an ambassador and also being in the Rio Rancho Greater Chamber. And I made a decision to join this chamber and that's all I'm gonna do. So we are gonna to work together as we go forward, both as ambassadors and also as small business people. And I think that um, things will be better as we get into 2021. As we wrap this up, what else would you like to talk about or, or to expound on? about yourself, your business, or just the Chamber in general? Well, I would like to really um, finish up. I mean, this is really about the Ambassador Program. The Ambassador Program is really great. The Chamber largely is, is super great, and they've done amazing things for the community over very troubled times, over the short period that I've been with them. Um, but the Ambassador Program specifically is, is really something that's special. A lot of other uh, chambers and whatnot have, have this, but what the Ambassador Program is here to do is it's really here to support the communities and the small businesses in them and all the businesses in them. We have um, all kinds of different ways that we can uh, provide uh, different uh, grand openings when, when we can. We're having a virtual opening. And so the Ambassadors can really reach out. They can help you get resources you need. They can help you bring the crowds that you need. They can help you get connected to other people in the network or whatever it is you need as a small business. Maybe you're new to the area. The ambassadors aren't and they want to make sure you can succeed and you have basically your own team of people here at your service and that's what the ambassador group really is for. Okay so now you've summed up the ambassador group better than I could. I'm excited about being an ambassador with you and being with the Rio Rancho Greater Chamber. And I look forward to meeting you in person because we haven't done that yet. And uh, please be safe, have a happy Thanksgiving and uh, we will move on from here. Thank you so much, Amanda. I appreciate talking to you and boy, do I want to get to know you a little bit more. Take Thank care. you for having me. You're welcome.